But now, I have something extremely funny to talk about, at least for me. For me, it is very funny. Uh, let's wait for the race to get started. There we go. So you guys uh, might remember, anybody who's seen any of my videos before, likelihood is you've probably seen the videos where I talk about conservatives uh, being gay and repressed, or like, at least, you know, not exactly being as straight as they would like you to think that they are. Uh, well, would you believe it? We have a new chapter in that saga, um, which surfaced a couple of, uh, a couple weeks ago. I saw the, um, original image that was circulating, uh, about this, or, like, the, just the latest instance, but then I realized that, like, this is a, apparently this is part of a trend. Um, conservatives on occasion will, will, like, somebody will post to Twitter, a, a, a picture or a video of, like, a, like, clearly gorgeous woman, right? Like, you know, it, so many boxes of conventional attraction just very obviously being checked off and whatever. Um, very pretty face. You, you know, sometimes they'll be, uh, smiling, which obviously adds to it because it seems like they're happy. Um, and, and, like, you know, bonus stuff, uh, nice clothes, big butt, whatever. And then they'll say, like, yeah, if you're attracted to her, you're gay, uh, or, or whatever. Like, you can't be straight and also attracted to this woman. And it's, like, the most jarring thing. And 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 lately, I, it was, like, I guess maybe it was the, the straw that broke the camel's back in some ways. Because I started to wonder, like, dog, are you even straight? You know? It, like, the, the, you know, if you're straight or bi or pan and, you you know you see somebody who you think is attractive, it registers for you like, wow, that person's pretty. I like the way they look, etc. Um, you know? Uh, but apparently not so with, with a lot of rightoids out there. Um, which makes me think, and, and made me realize, I think I should, I should say more accurately, a lot of conservatives just don't like women. You know, it, it, and it sounds like, in retrospect, given their policies and whatever on abortion um, and uh, women's rights in, in the workplace, in the home, and wherever, it sounds obvious to say that. But in retrospect, I think it, you know, it took me so long to realize because I knew, I knew that, like, politically, conservatives were against the rights uh, of women. But what I didn't really, like, fully grasp is that, like, no, that doesn't just apply to politics. That's also, like, the, them as people, they just don't like women. And it, like, it hit me that, goddamn, conservatives, number one, have extreme uh, sexual issues going on in their head that they need resolved. They need to see a fucking therapist, I think. But then, like, number two, they must be goddamn miserable. Like, seriously. You know, if you, if you... If you go online and you see, like, a picture of a, a, a pretty woman and your first reaction is repulsion and outrage, or if that's, like, what you've been trained to feel, I'm, like, I'm really sorry. I don't know who hurt you, but Jesus, I hope you get better, you know? And, of course, I guess that, you know, I, I, I just, in the moment, I remembered, like, oh, yeah, the, the thing that Freud said the one time, uh, all politics is sex and all sex is politics, you know? Um... So I guess it only makes sense that there would be such a overlap between conservatives not liking women and conservatives pursuing uh, policies that disproportionately hurt women. It's almost like conservatives are just misanthropic and evil and do not like human life. I know that sounds hyperbolic, but the more the more that you sort of analyze the brain state that a conservative has to be in to have that kind of reaction to a person being happy or living a normal life while being part of like one of the outgroups. The every time I encounter that, it, it just becomes more and more of a just a real thing and less of a like, oh haha, funny joke. Like, no, it's really not a joke. They're just like that. They just don't like people. Uh And I guess now's the part where I condescend to any conservatives out there because holy shit, I'm so sorry that you live like that. Uh, that's no way to live. So don't don't do conservatism, kids. Uh, 
you should love all women and you should also love all men and NBs. We love our uh, queer comrades, our straight comrades, etc., etc. I'm going to close some of these tabs, actually, so they're not all hanging open. So I'm not going to make all of that into segments. I will make some. I will make one of those into segments. I think the uh, me talking about conservative people really like straight guys really just not liking women dude it's so it's so weird like there there's there's i think okay i'm prepared to make this statement right now there's only one person i've known in my life who is straight and actually likes the opposite sex and that's my dad i'm serious i am like dead serious Everybody else that I've I have known, I either don't know how they think about romantic relationships, they're not straight, or they're absolutely insane about the opposite sex. You know? And when I say insane, I don't mean like head over heels in love with somebody, blah blah. No, I just mean that like they, they have these absolutely insane attitudes where where they like don't um view them as as like Almost don't even view them as people. It's it is so bizarre. And ultimately, I think I actually think that like incoming uh feminist meme, but like that's the patriarchy for you. You're you're designed to see the like people who are of the opposite gender as other. You know, like men and women are basically the same, you know, on on most fundamental levels, men and women are pretty much the same. But it's like, oh, uh, it, actually, they're different because we have like forcibly instilled in you all of these different social uh, attitudes, roles, and and like expectations. Sometimes through childhood trauma outright, uh, and you know abuse and shit that result in you like having horrible relationships with with the uh, people around you that are not also in the same social category as you. Like fuck, man. And what makes me the most angry about that is that I had such a hard time seeing it until, like, two years ago. Like, I understood it conceptually, but there was, so, like, it's it's kind of like you understand something intellectually and conceptually before you're really able to internalize it emotionally. That's, that's like, that's, like, the level that I'm on right now, is that I've just started to be able to internalize it, like, oh, people are just people. And you don't actually need to act a certain way around guys versus girls. You should just act as though you're in the presence of another human being. You know? How could patriarchy do this, but unironically? 